Welcome back to Kalesti V011 or V011 or V0.11 or whatever you want to call it at this point. I'm just going to go with beta 11 or something similar to that. Uh, today we're going to be going over some simple changes that will highly affect the flora in your Minecraft world. Uh, admittedly, 0.11 or beta 11 does not have that many changes, and actually this version is going to introduce a pro and regular version of KLSD, which is actually as a result of Optifine being terribly optimized, ironically. I love that, by the way. I've recently discovered that Opti Optifine is terribly optimized like, how? <laughs> how? Um, but yeah, obviously this update introduces a number of complex color maps to all the different fauna. So we have color maps for oak trees, spruce trees, birch trees, jungle trees, acacia trees, dark oak trees, grass, grass blocks, tall grass, vines. And there are a number of other things I'm planning on adding in the future. Uh, but for now, at least, I really need to work on splitting the two resource packs into a regular and a pro version. Because this will kill your game. I, I hate to say it, but for some reason, this is the laggiest thing I've ever experienced with Optifine. Obviously, um, with Skur, we used all of the default color maps, so we used the pine color map and the birch color map and then the regular color map to make the other four trees. This time, I had the genius idea of making these grayscale, removing the tint index from the block states model, and then turning this into its own individual color map. So we have an individual color map for oak, jungle, acacia, and dark oak, which is great, but it turns out Optifine's custom color maps are awful. Absolutely awful. I don't know how to describe it, but it's awful. Like, let me just see if I've got the effect now. I'm gonna see. Yep, I've got the effect right now. So for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, when you have color maps installed, like this, it will mean that your game chooses to freeze up loads when you place and destroy blocks. It's not happening that much anymore. It's very subtle, but it's very annoying, and it's much worse when you're in a regular world. Obviously right now, we are in a super flat world. I am playing at 16 render distance. I usually play at 24, but it's even more unplayable. So unfortunately, unless you've got some sort of beast PC, uh, you are not going to enjoy the latest update of Kalesti. So I do apologize for that. But rest assured, I am going to be releasing a smaller light version of the pack, uh, which is actually going to be referred to as the regular version, a suggestion by Zoe. Thank you for the suggestion, Zoe. It probably is the more sensible way to go. Um, and yeah, Sorry. <laughs> I, I wish this was good. I really do. I wish it was good. I've, I've been dreaming about doing this for a long time, and you have no idea how disappointed I am. I, like, when I was doing this, I had the pine color map, I had the birch color map, and now I was setting up custom ones. I'm like, hmm, right, okay. Time for some custom color maps. Time to work on the oak color map. I finished the entire oak color map, and it was okay, this is good, looking good. Finished the jungle color map, okay, looking pretty good. I go to a jungle biome, and it's laggy as shit, and I was like, okay, that's fair enough. Jungles are usually quite laggy already. Uh, make the acacia color map. Everywhere is starting to get a bit laggy. Dark oak color map. Everywhere is starting to get a bit laggy. Individual color map for grass and vines, and all these different block state models we have for uh, each of the leaf blocks here, and oh my god, my computer just went to mush. I, like, I don't even have that bad of a computer. I have an i5, I have a 2060S, and Minecraft in itself being terribly optimized and being so reliant on your processor, and now Optifine being ironically terribly optimized and awful at running color maps, and now this version of Kalesti has just ruined it. It's, it's, it's really sad. Like, I want this to work, but it just doesn't. So... I apologize in advance for anyone who can't run this recent update of Kalesti. I have already got in touch with Mr. Optifine Man complaining about this terrible feature, and I'm asking if they can possibly improve it or fix it. I don't know if it's a bug. I don't know if it's a known thing. I don't know if I'm going to get a response that along the lines of like, yeah, custom color maps are really shit. Don't use them. That, 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 that's probably what will happen, unfortunately. That's kind of how Optifine goes down. Um, but we can dream. So yeah, for now, there's going to be a light and a pro version of Optifine. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy either, um, if you can. So sorry guys, sorry for that. Um, but yeah, moving on, we have some more individual updates, however. So first of all, we have the Red Mushroom CTM. This has returned from Skur. Uh, very simple, as you can see, block states type vanilla randomization CTM, uh, which is actually constructed using all the different, you know, check if it's top or side or west or east or north or whatever. Um, and this code was originally supplied to me by Tomb, who had a slightly better understanding of JSON than I did at the time. So thank you once again for the file for that. It's, um, when using the exact same file from before, just with a different namesake uh, and obviously different textures that look more Japper. Moving on from that, we have different leaf blocks 
cloak models. Now we have the oak leaves, which hang underneath, as you can see here. I wasn't too keen on having the cross model on the top of the oak blocks. I think it looks a little bit crap. Uh, but when you're looking at these things from the side and you have that little bit of fluff at the side of leaves and on the bottom, I think it looks really, really nice. I, I really like the effect this creates. Uh, we've done a very similar thing for the spruce, only it's actually four tiles that go um, it's like, you know, at 90 degree angles as opposed to 45 degree angles like that. Uh, we have a new one for the birch, which is very similar to oak, as you can see there, leaves hanging underneath the leaf blocks and a little bit of tuft at the side. Jungle is a little bit more interesting. We have a bit of randomization here. You can see uh, some of the blocks have a much larger hanging vine coming out of them, which I think adds to the whole look of the jungle trees a lot. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, as you can see there, it kind of looks even better on the big jungle trees. I think it looks really cool. Especially if you're at eye height level with these things, it looks awesome. You can just see all these little bits of, little bits of like hanging vines coming out of the tree. I think it looks really good. Uh, we have a more wide and sprawling texture for the acacia trees, which has two individual rotations using block states once again. And this basically means that the edges of the acacia tree are a little bit more random, a little bit more nice looking. And again, they just kind of suit the whole look of acacia trees you know you can see that this this model is obviously very different to that of like birch or oak for example uh, and moving on from that we finally have the dark oak texture which again is very similar to the oak texture with the hanging leaves and a bit of fluff coming out from the sides there that i think looks really good as well so anyway thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this tiny update for Calesti. it does have a massive massive impact on your world uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the cinematic that i released yesterday if you haven't watched that yet it will show you a few more examples of the cool color maps that we have throughout the world um Actually, am I going to run it now? Do you know what? I'm going to run it at the end of this video, just in case you haven't seen it, so you can go ahead and watch that now. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I apologize once again for the issues here with Opsifine. Um, I will keep you guys posted. If I do hear back from them in terms of fixes or updates that will help with this issue, then obviously I will try and work around with those to make the pack as playable as possible. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and look forward to some more um, <laughs> doable features coming in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry that you can't run the pack, probably. <laughs> I, I can't. Like, that's the irony of it. I can't even run this, you know. Uh, let's just showcase it. Fuck it. Um, world, here we go. So, yeah, here we go. you're going to see a good example of how bad this is. Just get an idea of the world loading times. I'm currently playing with 8 gigabytes of RAM, by the way. It's fucking awful. <laughs> it's fucking awful. This is terrain that I've loaded before, by the way. If I teleport into new terrain, it will take a minute upwards to load all the terrain. Let me try it, actually. Um, TP, Scalibur, 500,000 uh, by... Wait, can you not do that? 500,000? Oh, no, yeah, you can. By my coordinate, by 500,000. Yeah, there we go. So now I'm in new... ...load, shall we? Okay, we've got like four chunks so far. Moving out towards 16. <laughs> it's awful. What is this? Usually I can load the entire world in three seconds flat. Usually. This is awful. Like, this isn't even the worst part either. When I actually go down to the world and place and destroy blocks, that when, that's when the lag really kicks in. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm not that bad here, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. It's very inconsistent. Oh, there we go. There's one. Yeah, there's one. Okay. There's one. There's one. There's one. So the game will freeze up for, like, up to three seconds every time I place and destroy a block. And considering this game is about mining and crafting, that's kind of shit. I can't play like this. It's awful. <laughs> it was, like, four seconds. Jesus. That's... The, it's all it's playable. Unplayable. Let, let's let's disable the um, resource pack. KLST, go away. This is why I'm making a light version, guys. <laughs> this is why. It's awful. It's so sad because I was so excited for this feature. It just doesn't work. It's so. It's like so crushing. Look how much faster the world loads. <laughs> Look how much faster it loads. And it's like done. That's like all I would expect from it now. It's going to keep going into the ocean as well. It wouldn't have even got there beforehand. And again, let's just do another test. Placing and destroying blocks. Place, destroy, place, destroy, place, destroy. Nothing wrong at all. Why? 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 It's awful. Why does my fancy resource pack break the game? It's not fun. Ah. <laughs> uh.
yeah, sorry guys. Uh, we'll be back with um, yeah. Okay, bye.